everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet our primrose cowl. And we called it the primrose cowl because these little flowers look like little primroses and this yarn is a beautiful striping yarn that has lots of colors in it just like primrose flowers do. It's a really simple pattern to make. It's just basic double crochets and chain two or chain one spaces and it makes a lovely gift as well. And these colors are just magnificent. <laughs> Now the neat thing about this cowl is that it measures about 12 inches across, so it's a nice size. And if you make this according to the pattern that I've written, you're going to get about a 32 inch around cowl. But if you prefer a scarf, you can redo the repeats as many times as you want to and make it as long as you would like. Now you can find all the information for adjusting the pattern on my blog as well as the written pattern with lots of pictures and as always I'll put that pattern link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our primrose cowl you're going to need about three ounces of a medium weight number four yarn. For our demonstration we're using Super Savers stripes. It is a medium weight number four acrylic and the color is called flamingo. Isn't that beautiful colors? It reminds me of the beautiful colors of the primrose flower itself. Now we're going to be using our eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with a slip knot and we're going to chain 36 chains. Now remember this initial chain needs to be a little bit loose so the end of our cowl doesn't get puckered up. We're going to be stitching in long rows and then putting those ends together to form our cowl. So I've stitched my slip knot and I'm going to chain 36 chains just a little bit loose. I have chained my 36 chains just a little bit loose and we're going to begin by stitching a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. We don't count the loop on our hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of our chains across. We began in the fourth chain from the hook and we're stitching one double crochet in each chain across. I began in the fourth chain from the hook and stitched one double crochet in each chain across. Now we count this chain three as one and so you'll have a total of 34 double crochets. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. For row two and on every row our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next double crochet and then double crochet in the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, oopsie, there we go, 
and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip the next two, and then we're going to stitch in the next eight. So we skip two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to chain two, we're going to skip two, and again, stitch in the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, and that leaves three stitches. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in these last two double crochets. And chain three. All right, now let's look at row two. We have our chain three that counts as a double crochet plus another double crochet. We chained one and skipped one. We stitched eight double crochets, chain two and skip two, eight double crochets, chain two, skip two, eight double crochets. Then we chained one and skipped one and ended with two double crochets. And that's row two. We've chained three and turn. Now for row three, we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next eight stitches, and that includes our chain one space. So one, two, I went in the chain one space, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we have nine double crochets because remember we're counting that chain three as our first and we stitched eight. All right, so now we're going to chain two. We're going to place two double crochets in the chain two space. One and two. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch one double crochet in the next four double crochets. So one, two, three, and Four. Let's take a look at this before we go farther. Two, skip two, two in the chain two, chain two, skip two, and then four. Now we're going to sort of repeat that. We're going to chain two, stitch two double crochets in the chain two space. One, two, chain two, we're going to skip two, and stitch one double crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna go in that chain one space, seven and eight, and that just leaves that last stitch, and we'll go ahead and stitch in that last stitch so that we have a total of nine stitches. One, two, 
and chain three. All right, so let's take a look at it. We have nine double crochets because remember we count our chain three as our first, chain two, skip two, two double crochets in the chain two space, chain two, skip two, four double crochets, chain two, skip two, two double crochets in our chain two space, chain two, skip two, and then nine double crochets at the end. And you can see we're already starting to form our little primrose petals. All right, let's do row four. We chained three and we're going to turn. Again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. We're going to chain one, skip the next, and then double crochet in the next. And so we made that little chain one, skip one, just like we did down here. We've placed one double crochet, and now we're going to stitch in the next five. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to place two double crochets in the chain two space, one, two, we're going to chain two. We'll skip these two double crochets and stitch two double crochets in the chain two space. That's our little primrose. All right, now, we're going to stitch one double crochet in these next four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. We're going to stitch two double crochets in the chain two space. One and two. Chain two. We'll skip these two double crochets and stitch two double crochets in that next chain two space. One and two. And now we've formed our second primrose. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. This leaves three double crochets on the end. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next one, and then one double crochet in those last two stitches. And chain three. All right, so let's take a look at row four. We have two double crochets, chain one, skip one. Then we stitched across one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two in our chain one space. We chain two, skip two, two double crochets in our chain two space. Then we stitched four more double crochets, two double crochets in our chain two space, chain two, skip two, two double crochets in our chain two space, then we stitched one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets, chain one, skip one, and two double crochets in the last two double crochets. And that is row four. So there's two of our primroses stitched in. All right, let's do row five. We've done our chain three and turn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make one stitch in the next 16 stitches, we'll be stitching in our double crochets and our chain two and chain one spaces. And again, our chain three counts as our first.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, so we stitched our chain three, double crochet, one double crochet in the chain one space, one double crochet in each double crochet across, two double crochets in our chain two space, and then one double crochet in the next three. We're going to chain two, we're going to skip the next two, and then double crochet in the next, and again, we're going to stitch a total of 16 double crochets, one double crochet in those three double crochets, two double crochets in the chain two space, and on across stitching one double crochet in each double crochets, go. This brings us to those last three stitches where we have a double crochet in the chain one space and one double crochet in the last two stitches. And chain three. And so now what we're doing is we stitched across, we have chain two, skip two, 16 and 16 plus those two, and we're doing our third primrose because we have three primroses in our repeat. And that's how row five should look. We chained three and turn. And now we're ready for row six. Again, our chain three counts as one double crochet and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and then we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We're going to chain two. We'll skip these next two double crochets, stitch two double crochets in our chain two space. One and two. Let's get that string off of there. There we go. There's my second double crochet. Then we'll chain two. We'll skip the next two and one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and then one double crochet in the next two. One and two. And chain three. All right, let's take a look at our row six. Our chain three counted as one double crochet, then we double crocheted in the next. Chain one, skip one, 
11 double crochets in the next stitches, chain 2, skip 2, 2 double crochets in the chain 2 space, chain 2, skip 2, 11 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, and 2 double crochets, chain 3, and turn. And row 7 is the same as we did for row 5. We're going to double crochet in the next 16 stitches. I stitched a double crochet in the 16 stitches. Chain 3 was 1, 1 in our chain 1 space, 1 in each double crochet across, 2 in our chain 2 space. We're going to chain two. We'll skip those two stitches, stitch two double crochets in the chain two space, and then one double crochet in the remaining stitches across. I stitched across with those double crochets. I'm stitching a double crochet in the chain one space and one double crochet in these last two stitches. And chain three. And so for row seven, we have 16 double crochets, chain two, skip two, and 16 double crochets. We chain three and turn. For row eight, again, our chain three counts as our first double crochet, and we'll double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, and then we're going to double crochet in each stitch across, working all the way across this row till we reach that chain one that we need to place. So we're going to stitch a double crochet in each stitch across, stitching two double crochets in this chain two, working all the way across till we reach here where we need to add our chain one, skip one, and end with two double crochets. I have double crocheted all the way across. Remember to place two double crochets in your chain two space. Here's my chain one, skip one, and one double crochet in the last two stitches. There we go. And chain three. So on row eight, we have two double crochets, chain one, skip one. Then we double crocheted all the way across and ended with a double crochet, chain one, skip one, and two double crochets on the end. We chain three and turn. And now for row nine, we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch across. So our chain three counts as our first, we'll double crochet in the next, double crochet in that chain one space, and then stitch one double crochet in each of the stitches working all the way across this row. I completed row nine, stitching one double crochet in each stitch across. Now, just a reminder, every row will have 34 stitches. Sometimes it'll be a chain one, sometimes it might be a chain two, but you're going to have a total of 34 stitches on each row. We're not adding any or subtracting any. So now we've completed up through row nine. And what you're going to do is you're going to repeat row two through row nine four more times. You'll start again on your next row with row two, and then you'll repeat row two through row nine four more times. And that's going to get you a cowl that's approximately 32 inches around. 
Now, if you want this to be a scarf and be a lot longer, you can do those repeats as many times as you would like. Or maybe you just like a longer cowl. But for the pattern, you need to repeat row 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 four more times. Here is my cowl, and here's our original set of primroses, and then I have repeated that four more times. I'm going to put the two ends of my cowl together, and then we're going to stitch them together. I'm going to line up the two ends of my cowl, and I'm going to go in the stitch on this side and the first stitch on this side and stitch a single crochet. And we're going to use single crochets because I want it to be nice and sturdy. And so we'll just go through both loops on this side and both loops on this side and single crochet them together. And we'll do this working all the way across and this is why I said at the beginning that you don't want your beginning chain to be too tight or your ends of your cowl won't line up evenly. All right? Because if I would have chained this too tight and it wouldn't line up, it wouldn't fit together nicely. And we don't want the ends puckered up. All right. So I'm just going to single crochet across, stitching the front to the back. And this seam will be on the inside of our cowl. I have stitched my cowl closed, working all the way across, stitching the front and back together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my cowl right side out so that that seam is on the inside. All right, we're not going to cut our yarn yet. What we're going to do is we're going to evenly half double crochet around this edge. All right, so we're going to chain two, counts as one half double crochet, and then we're going to go into the sides of these stitches and stitch a half double crochet, working all the way around. And the key to getting a nice even row is to place them close, but not too close and not too far apart. And try to stitch in the sides of the stitches and not the holes if you can help it. And just in case a half double crochet is yarn over, go in the side of that stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three of those loops. The half double crochet is one of my favorite basic stitches. It's a little bigger than a single crochet, but not quite so tall as a double crochet. I think it makes a nice finishing stitch for our cowl. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to stitch a half double crochet working all the way around this edge of our cowl. And we're going to stitch this all the way around and then join back over here where we stitch that chain two. I have stitched my half double crochet all the way around this edge. I'm going to join back to that chain two where we started, I'm going to tie off, pull that loop to the inside, and then I can weave that in with my needle. But before we do that, what we need to do is move to the other side of our cowl, join in our yarn, chain two, and repeat, stitching an even row of half double crochets 
all the way around this edge as well. We want the edge of our cowl to be nice and tidy. All right, so again, we're evenly stitching half double crochets around the edge of our cowl all the way around and join back to our chain two just like we did on this side. So again, I have stitched half double crochet around this side. I joined to my chain two, cut my yarn. I'm going to pull that loop to the back. There we go. And then I'll take my needle and weave in both my ends. I have tidied up my ends and now my cowl is complete. And you can see how these lovely flowers working through the cowl and why we called it the Primrose Cowl. Mm -hmm.